It was a regular Wednesday. We met Zach at the game. And after the game, he started to cry. And the first thing he said was, my knee hurts, I have a headache, and I'm dizzy. Over the course of the next four days, he became more and more ill. And on Saturday evening, we took him to the emergency room. They immediately started IV antibiotics. And finally, by that evening, we were told that he needed to be put into a medically induced coma to be put on a respirator. And at that point, the diagnosis of sepsis was confirmed. He stayed that way for 12 days and had multiple complications. I kept thinking, am I gonna be a mom who loses a child? It can happen to your parent, it can happen to your spouse, it can happen to you. So you need to know what it is and what to look for. And to learn more about the symptoms, go to sepsis.org.